Welcome back legends, uh, we're, still, we're still wind rowing, uh, we've run into a, an interesting block, it's, it's down, it's messy, it's slow, air yeah, productivity's gone to the dogs a bit, uh, but we're, we're getting there, we sort of worked the job out a bit, we're having trouble, crops leaning, I'm heading south at the moment, the crops leaning to the southeast. Uh, saw it going this way, we're sort of using the reel to rake it back up again. Uh, but when we're driving the other way to the north, uh, the, you can imagine the, the, we're having trouble with the left hand side and the, the plant was essentially, the head of the plant was essentially heading into the, the end of the reel. And it was, uh, was sort of doing what it's doing there now. So it, just been mucking around with the reel. Um, get this to bloody feed. Um, just gonna hang on. Don't like doing this, but we'll have to just back up a little whisker and just get him to kick off the mat if we can. Come on, buddy, catch again. just to get it out um, yeah so we've been having hell's own trouble uh, we actually pulled the pin last night about 8 30 uh, Ross was on it and we couldn't actually work out what was going on we didn't know whether we had an issue with the with the draper or or what was going on but we actually well we just yeah we sort of put it down to the crop in the end we've done about 40 hectares in this paddock it's about 90 uh, and it's all like this, a lot of wet spots. We're sort of cutting out blocks and nearly been bogged a couple of times, which is uh, it's not ideal. So yeah, we're sort of driving around the, the dead spots because the dead spots are bloody wet actually. And there's, uh, yeah, you sort of paddle, paddle, paddle and a bit of forwards and backwards thing going on there before uh, to try and not get bogged. So, but yeah, so I've actually, actually worked out with the crop uh, heading heading in the northerly direction um, if I sort of get the reel right out and, and just lift it up a fraction it's it's actually feeding in a bit better so you know we were we were up around that 20 10 or like when we we're in the crop 10 or 12 hectares an hour we're back to about six here uh, so it's it is slow going but it's it is what it is um, we turned it off last night just because we we're having trouble and the wet spots we couldn't see where things were um, and we were supposed to be going to a neighbour's place through the this next door here where we are. Um, he had 120 hectares with a lot of wet spots in it, but he's actually just pulled the pin on it. Uh, he was wetter than what he was anticipating. He's going for a, a, a cruise around and side by side and, and just reckons we'll leave it. So uh, it's, what is it? We're Saturday today. Uh, Yesterday, it was supposed to rain yesterday, but we didn't get any, thankfully. Uh, there is a few storms kicking around today. Dark clouds out there. Uh, 27 degrees today, and gonna be, just hang on, I'll just turn around to the headland, give me a sec. Yeah, 27 degrees today, and, and, and uh, quite humid. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, this is where we are, but yeah, we're just heading, heading north now, and see that product of stalls on the on the on the belt and we sort of drove past drove behind the machine just to make sure the, the belt was wasn't stalling out altogether and um, yeah, it all seems to be running all right but it's I think just because the, the product's heading into that corner it's getting sort of trapped there and then it's it is on the green side this crop uh, there's not a lot of shattering going on and so there's plenty of weight in that but it just is probably where a top cross auger would be helpful and it just turn that crop round and, and headed out the hole. So anyway, we're getting it done. But uh, so yeah, a couple other things. Oh, here pods are in again. So a couple of podcasts this morning. Just a bit of Spotify at the moment. Uh, not much on the radio, but one uh, I stumbled across yesterday uh, was the Farms for Profit uh, podcast, and it's it's actually an American one and. Fella I know who I met through one of the adventure crop tours I spoke about in the earlier, uh, earlier videos with the, uh, the, 
sort of motorbike get together. A uh, fellow by the name of Andrew Uphill, um, he's on the latest one. So uh, go and have a listen to it, and you'll get. He's at Moree. You'll get a bit of a, a gauge on on what's going on up there. Um, and yeah, I suppose that you'll hear it in his voice. The the toll it's it's taking on people. Uh, yeah, cracking fellow. Uh, up he's, he's up easy his next time um, so yeah go and have a listen and um, and yeah you'll just you'll get a bit of an idea what's going on up there so we're only getting bits and pieces off the news and that but I have been messaging Andrew and there's been seen some bloody disastrous stuff coming out of there and um, some horrendous tales so it'll take them a long gonna take them a long time to get up get back on their feet uh, but yeah no today it's Saturday today so we'll um, yeah, we'll be out of here. I don't know what time we'll be out of here. It's mid morning at the moment, so we'll get out of here and then we've we've actually got to go into Mexico next. We've got to go into Victoria, so put our disguises on so no one recognises us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, only being silly. Uh, yeah, we'll head we'll head across there and, and and do what we've got 250 acres, 100 hectares for a good mate over there. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can get shifted over here, the, over there this afternoon sometime, and uh, yeah, we'll. We'll see how it goes over there. So proceedings have come to a halt. <coughs> uh, we've done a, done a hydraulic hose on the on the front here. Uh, yeah, one that comes across and drives the other Draper motor. Just been, I don't know what's, just been rubbing in there for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I rang out, which I don't like doing, rang our hydraulics guy and he's out on another job. So uh, we'll just see, we might be able to have a crack at fixing it with a couple of reusable fittings um, or we'll, um, we might pinch the hose off the other front perhaps. Uh, yeah, but uh, you can see it out there, there's a bank of rain coming anyway, it's pretty nasty on the radar. But uh, yeah, it's actually cooled, cooled down all of a sudden, so it'll be raining here in a minute, I think. So I'll, I'll get this off and, and get back to the shed and see what we can do. Coming pretty quick. Anyway, it's still pretty rough. We got right up. But, uh, probably won't do much more today by the looks of it. Mm. Bit of a pain because we only had half an hour there to finish that job. So anyway, we'll try and get the hose fixed. and. Uh, yeah, if it's soft rain, we'll go back and put it on and see how wet it is. But yeah, there's a fair front coming through anyway. Hey, there you are. So we made a call to Dan at Specialised Hydraulics. Uh, he was out on a job uh, and yeah, he was going to be back at his shop tonight. So i uh, been lucky enough to call in there and we've got new hose. So yeah. Massive thanks to Dan. He was actually there helping someone else as well, so um, it worked. But uh, yeah, he's um, as I've mentioned previously, he's having a real red hot go. I don't know when he gets time to sleep because he's a runs a 24 hour service, uh, which seems a bit nuts. I think he does have an apprentice on, but Dan would only be Dan wouldn't be 30. He'd be only mid mid 20s probably. But yeah, he's uh, got a machining shop there as well as hydraulics. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll get this this back together and get this half an hour done hopefully I don't know what there's been there's been some big rainfall in very limited time um, we're hearing there's um, been 75 mil in about half an hour 45 minutes about an hour to the north of us um, where we've got to go tomorrow over the river which is only 30 k's away not even they've had you know 10 to 40 over there uh, yeah so we didn't, I think we've ended up with five or 10 here, so we've been a bit lucky. Uh, but uh, yeah, one thing I'll just uh, point out, <laughs> what's really good for cordless power tools is uh, leaving them out in the rain. So I picked all the other hand tools up, by the most expensive one. So anyway, we'll get this on and we'll get cracking. Well, we're the day after, day after yesterday again, funnily enough, uh, 40, 40 mil in a storm last night. It was an absolute cracker. It just threw it down. Uh, so, but uh, Lake Evan Downs is filling again. Uh, managed to get that wind rowing done, but we've had a 
we've got a major issue with the windrow. I'm not sure whether we've done a wheel motor or a, or a hydraulic pump. Um, I've have been on the phone to our mechanic today, which or well, this morning, just having a yarn to him. He's not all that familiar. Knows the basics with the Macdons, but uh, yeah, that's sort of sort of about it. So I've got a couple other guys I can ring, but given the rain, look, we probably won't. We might windrow a bit of this later stuff that we've we've got here at home that's still quite green, but sort of anything that hasn't been windrowed by. I sort of said during the week, anything that wasn't windrowed by this weekend wouldn't uh, probably get windrowed. So, yeah, just uh, jumped in the air, just gonna go for a cruise out the other farm and measure the rain out there and just make sure everything's all right. Got pretty rough last night, it was quite windy and uh, yeah, but quite widespread the rain. So, yes, it is what it is, unfortunately. So, uh, look, as I've said previously, we've, we've got nothing to worry about, well, nothing to whinge about here, but it's starting to get bloody frustrating. It's, um, yeah, the traffic ability is really gonna come and become an issue now, and the, the weather pattern just won't clear up for us, which is unfortunate, so. Anyway, we'll, uh, yeah, whether we have a, play around with the windrow on the Sabo or just the Sunday today, whether we just just have Sunday and, and worry about it tomorrow would probably be the better better option. So anyway, that's uh could be damn sort worse. And uh, Monday morning, so we've finished up with about 67 mil at home and I reckon we'll be we'll be over the 70 mark out at the other farm. Uh, so I've been on the phone this morning just trying to work out what's going on with this windrow to try and diagnose it. Uh, we've taken the taken the plugs out, the magnetic plugs out of the planetary there. They're pretty clean, the oil looks good, so it's not the planetary. I've had it running uh, and it just won't, there's no power out of this left hand wheel at all. So it'll go round and round in circles, but <laughs> won't, won't go forward. So uh, I was talking to a mechanic and he suggested uh, before we get too carried away, just uh, swapping the the four hoses ran from side to side, to side which we've done. And yeah, look, same thing. It'll it'll still give power to the right, but not to the left. So that that wheel motor there's cactus. So yeah, we'll start and got a jacky, we'll jack it up. Probably need a front end loader here to lift the planetary off, but I'll lift the tire up, lift, take the tire off while I'm here and, and uh, yeah, get everything unbolted and uh, hopefully the, the wheel motor will be here tomorrow, so uh, yeah, we'll get, none of the guys are here on deck today, it was, uh, yeah, Brendan had to go to Melbourne and, and Tommy was, I just rang Tommy and said, oh, it's, it's too wet to do anything and I'd try and diagnose this and that sort of stuff, so we've got to backline all the sheep for flies, we've got, the lambs are starting to get a bit of fly, have a few fly issues, so the next couple of days while we're not doing anything, we'll get everything in and and treat everything for blowflies and yeah pull the rams have been in two weeks uh, so we'll pull them out for a week and pull them out as well while we've got them in and, and give them a give them a week off and uh, then, then they can go back in again We're jumping around a little bit here. Uh, we're uh, pressing hay. Uh, this contract job that we do uh, on the edge of town. Most years usually do a bit of silage and the odd, um, odd brown bale stuff. Uh, this stuff's been down. I'm gonna do two things at once here because there's a bit going on. Uh, 
Uh, job we usually do every year, do usually do silage for these guys and and perhaps a bit of bit of hay. Uh, but yeah, so this stuff was cut before the rain. The moisture's a bit. It's all over the place a little bit. We're putting an oculant on it. Uh, they're just doing it hay, and they are stacking it, stacking it outside, and giving it a bit of a room to, to breathe in. Uh, bit of an update on the wind run, not that it's a lot to update. Apologies for the squealing in the background, it's the buzzer on the baler. Yeah, well, look, we're still waiting for the wheel motor. It's been five days, which is really starting to annoy me, but it's, um, yeah, freight companies, if you're listening, you need to do better. <laughs> so, um, anyway, it's in transit somewhere, we're not too sure where it's coming from, so. Uh, hopefully Monday we should see it. Uh, got the jewels on the big tractor today, which is which is good. Uh, had a neighbour stripper sample of canola, and it's 5.8, so it's got to be under 8%. Uh, so yeah, it's it's good to go. Uh, we've been mucking around just finalising the header. We've done all the carol operations this morning. I've just got to finish off putting the GPS in it. Uh, it's right to go. Uh, and then yeah, we've. Tommy and I took the frame off the truck this afternoon to, to, to cart the window around with. I didn't actually get a picture of that happening. Um, but yeah, look, if, if this thing, <laughs> if this channel runs for 12 months, you'll get to see it next year. So, uh, anywho, uh, yeah, so there is plenty starting to happen. A um, little bit on the baler. Um, so yeah, we're doing uh, five foot bales. This baler's got, um, a multi oh, it's expanding chamber or whatever they call it. Um, so yeah, we can do up to a six foot bale. Uh, yeah, our silage we usually do is four footers, uh, just because the weight and, and to wrap them. Um, but if you can see, oh, we be able to see that with the glare. You've got a couple of columns there that the, just tells how even the bale is, and then it just counts up. Uh, and just bear with me. to make you seasick while it's hanging onto the steering wheel, turning it. We'll skip a few rows. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, so that might be better. Got the glare off the screen now so you can see it. Ah, uh, yeah, so you've just got the, the two little um, black lines there and they'll just flicker up and down and that tells you how even the bar is, but when we're sort of here where the rows are good, you can you don't have to wiggle much. Um, so we're picking up at about 14 or 15 kilometres an hour. Um, probably a bit quicker than what we usually travel. So that first beep tells you it's at point four and I usually, um, I usually stop about then and just let it come to a gradual roll and that, that's enough to take it up to the, the 150, which is um, 1.5 metres. Um, and then the second beep is to let it out. And this little tractor with the Vario is is fantastic because for this sort of job because I just just run it with my on pedal um, and yeah just drive it with my left foot and I can you can slow up and speed down <laughs> slow up speed up and slow down as you want to if I can get it out uh, yeah and it and it's it goes really well so and then we've got the headland management um, set up on the on the joystick here so we just I'll just show you when we pull up we just press a button and I'm um, creeping the loader for whatever reason it keeps going down uh, so there, there's the beep just come to a gradual stop and then uh, you probably can't see it but it's wrapping, we're putting three and a half wraps of net on it. Uh, yeah, and there's the second beep, so I just press that and it's on, we've got it set up on a timer. So we've got a six second timer for the target to come up, and then comes back down again, and away we go. So these valves, look, they, you can tell they've got a bit of weight in them, they're sort of bearing, I reckon they'll be around that 400. 450, it's a pretty good bailer this it gets does get the weight into them and with a bit of juice like we're probably oh, we're anywhere from sort of 13 to 20 percent because of the green loose and regrowth 
um, we're getting a bit of green leaf in it, so um, hence why they're, they're not stacking them tight and all the rest of it. So, but anyway, um, yeah, apologies for the jumping around a bit this week, but there's yeah, been a bit going on, uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully things will we can settle into harvest mode and uh, yeah, but no, keep watching along. It's going to be um, yeah, it's going to be interesting the next next couple of weeks. So plenty happening. Thank you. See you next time.